Hey guys, welcome back to another video this week, and this one is themed because it involved somewhere I worked particularly last weekend. And that was somewhere quite special, if anyone would like to, to know, is that I worked here at the Indie Arts Festival. So that's the whole point of the video. I went to an arts festival mainly, mainly to work, but it, it was quite a very unique and very brilliant experience for me. So, just to give you the rundown of the place, the whole point of the Unity Arts Festival is that it's a it's a celebration of creativity. You know, it's that kind of deal. Where it, it, was, it was for the whole weekend. I had to do like two, you know, do two days of it, you know, because it spanned, I think, three days. But I don't think we were allowed on Friday. It was mainly a flyering shift for you know, like six of us. So I couldn't actually, you know, so I had to work around a lot of things. So, you know, I couldn't do a lot of photos and stuff. But the whole gist of it is that it's a celebration for any creative person. So in other words, if you want to, like basically do anything that involves creating something or anything thing that you think is art you just do it you go down there and you get inspiration from other people and that you know, and it's not just like art galleries and such you know it involves things like like sculptures or like random pieces of just mater materials or like independent films or music you know any anything from a wide range of, of areas where it just involves creativity. So you can imagine this was a perfect place for me, you know, because I like to think of myself as a creative, or at least I try to believe in myself that I am one. And I thought, and it was such a great experience for me because it was one It was one of those shifts where I did, you know, we all did the job, but we also were encouraged to look around the area because, you know, the whole point of us promoting this place is that we should actually have a look around of all this, of, of all this stuff, you know. And for those who don't know, it's up near where the O2 is, on the other side of the Thames, near Canning Town. And it, it, it's one of the greatest places I've ever been to, in the sense of how there's the, the levels of creativity and the things that people do are inspiring, you know? Like, like, like there's tons of stuff up, up there, like ranging from just like to, you know, random stru structures and pieces of art, where just people just left them there for randomness, or... Going into people's actual private workshops, you know, and talk, you know, and talking to, to the artists themselves, and talking about how they got started, what they do, like how how, you know, how they get others to like you, know, you know, to do what they do to inspire their work. You know, it was absolutely amaz amazing. Yeah, I met one guy who was a sculptor who like sculpts these huge, great things, things, and then suddenly come in like tiny models of like certain animals. So it was absolutely amazing. I I saw like. Yeah. I, I saw like buildings made out of shipping containers, you know, they're all coloured and decked out nice that people live in or work in or turn into workshops, you know. Yeah, I got invited to the one to like a workshop that was really lovely and yeah, unfortunately I couldn't go because I was working the other day, but it was it was absolutely fantastic, you know. And also and also I, I met another I met an artist here you know, by her, by the name of Elizabeth Cope, you know, so if this ever comes back to her, you know, <laughs> you'll know you left a big impression on me you know the sense of how she taught she told me that you know she, she showed me pieces of her work what she does how she draws you know she, she's one of those people that can just draw people like like that that she does it on the tube and i think wow that's that's damn well creative you know and i talked to her for a little bit said that oh i wish i could do things like portraits but i can't do it and she just shushed me and said no no you can do it you know, it's only if you believe you can't do it and that's the reason why you can't so you know that was the kind of thing but it was also like I, I I wanted to sort of like you know try and see if I can press so I wanted to do something to my ego so I showed her one of my pieces a lot you know one of my whiteboard pieces that you know, I've shown you on Instagram and such and she thought it was good <laughs> so you know well for her that probably meant nothing for me that meant a huge deal it was like you know it was like validation an actual artist someone who like has had their work being bought for saw something that I drew and said that's actually really good you know you're you're quite talented. I just felt so elated by that, you know, because cause I, cause I like to pretend to myself that I'm a creative in the sense of how, like, I still, I do draw, I do pod, I do radio, I do YouTube and videos and stuff like that, you know, but I still, but I still think I'm a long way from actual, you know, from what those are, those are like people who actually have, like, workshops, who, like, get, you know, who have their, that's their, that's the whole job, that's their career, you know, it's just to make things and do whatever the hell they want, you know, they, you know, that's not that's not like a oh god I have to go, I have to get up in the morning and do some sculpturing like no that's their pastime and they've turned it into a into a job I'd love to do that I'd love to do things like that but it was such a great experience for me the people there were so great the organizers of you know, of them I I will always you know 
think they're gr they're great to the clients who actually hire me. Thank you very much. And also, thank you for letting me keep the bag because <laughs> you know it's a really nice bag, so I do use it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but plus there were so many flies in there, it was ridiculous. But it's always fascinating me, like, how many things people can just do things like that and make things and just say to themselves, yeah, I'm an artist, because I don't think I'm there yet. But it was a nice, it was a nice weekend for me, not just for working wise, but for me to like, sort of think, like, just to inspire myself, to be like, you know, like, I I like to, you know, I'm on, I'm on a good track right now. I'm on the right passage for what... I, I'd like to be, you know, I'm mean, like, I know, I mean, I know I can never be them, you know, but that's fine, I'm not trying to be them, I'm not trying to do that, but I'd like to be, like, sort of on that same pathway of just, like, being able to look at something and just being able to make it, do whatever the hell you want with it, and it was, you know, it was absolutely fantastic of a place to go, I wish I could work there again, because I'm, I'm gonna actually try and see if I can find more work at art galleries, because, Honestly, just talking to the artists and just having discussions with them about their works and pieces, I, it was absolutely great, you know, because I just got to just, they were all lovely people, they weren't like upper class, they weren't stiffs, they weren't like, oh, you know, you're, you're, you're beneath me and all that, no, they were, they were just fun people who, who loved talking about their work, you know. Because they were, and I wanted to listen to them. I wanted to listen to every single one of them. I wish I had known about this before I'd, I'd you know, actually taken the job, because I would have gone the whole day, you know. And I wish I could go, and I wish at some point I could go there again, you know. So I guess, you know, I guess what I want to say is that as someone who can sort of call themselves a creative, like me, going to something like the Unity Arts Festival was an absolute privilege, you know. Like, you know, I've never been more cultured in my life to, be, to think like, you know, I've never particularly been a big fan of like art and stuff because I always feel like I'm unappreciative of it. You know, even like, even when I went to like see Vincent van Gogh, yeah, you know, of his artwork years ago when I was like little, I just rushed through the whole thing. <laughs> you know, I just saw the artwork, like, yep, that's it for like ten seconds, and then just went to the next one. I didn't really fully appreciate it. Now that I'm now that I'm older and I actually am trying to make stuff, you know, I I sort of I respect many artists now when I actually look at their work and think this is how you do it, this is what you do. You know, I respect that more. You <laughs> know. So yeah, that that's it, guys. That's just that that's the video. It was just me gushing over the arts, this Unity Arts Festival I I, I went to. And I thought it was so, I thought it was so great. You know, as you know, it helped me inspired to make more things, to maybe draw more, to maybe make more radio stuff, to make more YouTube. To it was like it was a good reminder to me, you know, a good reminder that like this is still something I want to do. You know, ever, ever since I started like doing this whole thing regularly a year ago. You know, like doing YouTube, doing the radio, making making pieces of art. You know, on my even on my whiteboard and such. Like, yeah, there was there's been a time where I just feel like, should I still be doing this? Is it worth it? And last weekend, it's all confirmed. Like, yeah, yeah, I, I love doing this. I love doing everything like this, and I don't want to stop. I want to go bigger. I want to keep doing things. I want to make things even bigger and even better. You know, I want to be able to like actual do like like proper paintings as well i want to do like actual sketches and stuff i want to actually like do videos where the, the video quality is much better that kind of thing i want to actually be a, be on radio where i actually get to talk to people you know it showed that it showed me that 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 path is still there and i still love it to this day so yeah guys that's the end for this video thanks so much for watching and i will see you guys next time with a new video so yeah enjoy yourselves take care guys Bye.